It's Rebecca Vardy's account. Back in 2019, Colleen Rooney, the wife of Man United legend Wayne Rooney, released a statement on social media which ended with those four words and nothing, absolutely nothing, has been the same ever since. The story we're about to tell you is a very interesting one. Even Netflix UK flirted with the idea of making a documentary based on it. So tighten up and come with us. But just before we get into the list, we want to introduce you to one of our major sources for football news, gist and insider scoop. One Football is your one-stop shop for everything football related. Live scores, transfer news, general football updates, literally everything. Also, you can follow your favourite club and favourite players and get all the latest updates about them as a notification from the One Football app. So what are you waiting for? Click on the link in the description to download the One Football app. Um, you're welcome. So, basically, all this drama started when Colleen Rooney discovered that someone had been telling her business to the English press. According to her, to find out who it was, Rooney blocked all of her followers from seeing her Instagram stories leaving just her chief suspect. She went ahead to post some fake stories with just one viewer seeing all of it, and boom, the stories ended up in the sun. She kept this detective work up for five months, and after she was sure about her discoveries, she released a statement on social media calling out the alleged culprit. It's Rebecca Vardy's account. But in the face of the mountain of evidence, Rebecca Vardy denied the allegations and in fact sued Wagatha Christie for libel and defamation. Okay, wait a minute, Wagatha Christie, what does that even mean? Well, it was the name the internet gave to Colleen Rooney because of her top-class detective work to fish out the supposed culprit. The name is a little merge of Wag and Agatha Christie. Agatha Christie is a British author known for police detective books, while Colleen automatically qualifies as a Wag as a result of her marriage to Wayne Rooney. Anyway, back to the story. Before Rebecca Vardy took the case to court, she claimed she had never even spoken to journalists. I'm not being funny, but I don't need the money. What would I gain from selling stories on you? She said to Colleen Rooney. But it would appear that Vardy had indeed tried to sell a story to journalists in the past. She allegedly presented the news about the arrest of her husband's former teammate, Danny Drinkwater, to Caroline Watt, her agent. Leaked text messages were discovered where Rebecca was telling Caroline about the Drinkwater accident and subsequent arrest, and she reportedly ended the text with, I want paying for this. But apparently she didn't get the pay she desired for that because someone at the police station was faster than her and had already sold the story to journalists. Anyway, addressing the leak, Rebecca Vardy said that her Instagram account was hacked at the time and she asked her legal team to do a forensic investigation on her social media account to see who could have done the damage. Now, the problem is that Vardy's lawyers are saying that Rooney's posts appeared to be blaming Rebecca Vardy and not Rebecca's Instagram account, as they feel it should have been. Anyway, even though Rebecca may look like the villain in the eyes of the public, she is the one who won the first round of court action. The court ruled in her favour in the libel case and Colleen had to pay her £23,000. And what we hear is that that has set the grounds nicely for future defamation and libel actions against Rebecca Vardy. Anyway, it seems like the pair have decided to settle out of court and we'll just have to monitor how things progress from here on out. We're unsure how all of this has affected the relationship between the husbands who are both ex-England internationals. Well, it's not like they've ever been best buds anyway. They only had a brief time together at the England national team, but credit to them for having been able to stay out of the drama as much as possible. But what do you think about this whole thing though? Do you think Rebecca Vardy's Instagram account was truly hacked? Or are you of the opinion that she actually leaked the stories herself? Do you think Colleen Rooney was wrong to call her out like that? Did she deserve to lose the libel case? Just bombard us with your thoughts in the comments. We'll be going through every single one of them. And while you're at it, be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel too. Also, turn on the bell notification so you never miss when new content drops. Catch you in the next one. Bye.